tasked with the graphic design of a learning resource, whether that's a slide deck or an infographic or some other image asset. So we tend to have some visual design tricks up our sleeves. One of these tricks I'll share with you is adding a drop shadow to a design in PowerPoint or Canva. Shadows can help images look more realistic and stand out in your designs. Instructional designers might use them to draw the learner's attention to a certain image or shape on screen. In PowerPoint, you can add a shadow effect by first selecting the image, shape, or text you'd like to add the effect to. Now choose Format from the ribbon. I have an image selected, so mine is called Picture Format. If you choose a shape or text box, this will read Shape Format instead. Now I need the option called Picture Effects and I'll select shadow. Now I have a bunch of options for the kind of shadow I can add to the selected image or shape. If you'd like to customize your shadow, just choose shadow options here. That opens the format picture pane on the right with some expanded options like shadow transparency, size, blur, angle, and distance. I tend to trust the presets, but feel free to experiment and see what works for your design. If you change your mind, just go back to your shadow option and choose no shadow. You can also add a drop shadow effect in Canva. It works whether you have a free account or if you pay for a subscription. From your design, select the image, shape, or text that you'd like to add the shadow effect to. Click Effects. Now choose shadow. And you can see the shadow is added to my object. Additionally, I have some options to customize the shadow. You can change the offset, which makes the shadow bigger or smaller, direction, blur, transparency, which are all pretty self-explanatory. Again, I tend to trust the default settings, but experiment and choose what's right for your design. One last note, just with any effect, I encourage you to be mindful about how you use a shadow to ensure that the effect elevates the resource you're creating for the learner and does not pose as a distraction.